deduce matter of code. So, I haven't opened the task yet, so I have no idea how it's gonna be. But I've opened a GitHub repository, and as we all know, that's the most important part of starting a project. It's picking the name. It's a GitHub repository. Alright, let's go. Admin of Code 2020. Party logging in. sound a bit yeah I like this you can hear some sweet lo-fi Christmas songs just to set the mood all right so okay so we've saved Christmas before um, through previous advents of codes so we're gonna be doing it again um, but we decided to take a vacation Okay. Um, own currency, cash only. Okay, and they, we get stars. I think these are the advent of code stars. Okay, so. Okay. So we need to get all the stars to save our vacation. That's okay. Um, let's see. What do you think? I'll, I'll lower the audio a bit for me. It's quite loud in my speakers like this and then I'll have to put it up again for you guys yes I'll click on uh, I'll have it on like twitch unless yeah I mean there's there's no copyright so these songs here are copyright free so I can just uh, put it up and uh, everyone can watch if you're interested in seeing how Haskell is done by uh, self Professed Haskell expert. All right. Um, so we have to get all 50 stars. Get two stars per puzzle. And we need 50 stars by December 25th. So, um, yeah. So in the U US, they celebrate Christmas on the 25th. All right. So, but that's okay. We can work on Christmas. Future employers, remember that. <laughs> no. Okay, so uh, before you leave, you need to fix your expense report. Apparently, something isn't quite adding up. Specifically, you have to find a two entries that sum up to 2020 and then multiply those two numbers together. For example, suppose your expense report contained the following. Okay, and then the two entries that sum up to 2020 are 1721 and 299. So we multiply them, we get our answer. Okay, um, let's see. Let's see how we do this. Um, so I have here um, a directory. I think I'll with uh, some code and let's say module main where a demo input. Let's make it a bit bigger. Oh no, that's not bigger at all. Module main where uh, test input equals. And let's just do it. We're doing it live this time. I don't think we actually need a you know module here. Let's just save this as a day one.hs. Alright, um, we're going to this put it in. Okay, so we're supposed to find the one that sums up to 2020. Multiply those two together. I think a good way to do that is um, for each number, we simply deduct it from 2020 and then we check whether the other number is a member of the set. You get what I mean? So, so what we're going to do, yeah, let's fill this in. Test input, test input, integer. So I think this will be quite easy, actually. Um, might not take too long, but I think these will get, they get harder and harder as, as the day goes by. 
So we have int. We're gonna assume they're ints. I mean, we have integers in Haskell, but we don't usually need like, you know, unbounded integers. And um, I think I think that's the case for advent of code. Essentially, that you never get the, you never actually have the. Um, the uh, what am I trying to say here? Y yeah, you, they don't actually use like unbounded integers usually. So, okay, but let's check it out. So, how do we solve it? So, for the test input, we can just do. Um, we just do. Um, So yeah, so so what we're going to do is we're going to okay. So here we here we have the formulas. Okay, x. So let's see, x plus y equals twenty twenty. Then x and then y equals twenty twenty minus x. Okay, um, and now we want to go and we're trying to calculate x times y. Um, and we're gonna rewrite that to be um, so I think because because we don't want to figure out the number again, so we'll just write here uh, x times y equals x times twenty twenty minus x equals twenty twenty x squared. No, 2020x minus, yeah, it's gonna be like this, minus x squared plus 2020x. That is going to be our solution. Um, so how, and so that's the, yeah, so we're going to calculate, okay, so. Um, so we're going to say, so first we check for set membership, right? So we do, um, Lambda. So, okay. For each, um, okay. So, uh, F, F X equals. Okay. So let's have input, take the input. And then we say case, uh, X. Oops. Uh, like this, and then I guess that kid X member input. Yeah, okay, let's just do it like this. If X member input, then uh, return uh, min uh, then just minus X. X times we don't we just we don't need to do anything like this. Then just x times twenty twenty minus x. Else nothing. So f takes a list of uh, integers. And actually, it's going to take a set of integers, and it's going to return a maybe int. Okay, and uh, so let's see what's what is it complaining here? Person for or yeah, okay. It needs to be like this. So set, yeah, we have to import data dot set. Um, and now it's complaining that okay, yeah. So we take in an int. And then we, we so we take in this int and then we take we take in the set and we take in the integers like in the set so uh, so and then we just I think we should just write a tight loop I think that's the, the easiest way to do it um, so we will just do loop uh, equals okay um, so we say a so loop input. Okay. Um, so 
So, okay, if we if we have nothing at the end, we will give nothing. Loop, and if we are uh, input, um, so what else do we know here? We know that. Hmm. We should probably map. Yeah, we need to map. We need to map twenty twenty over x for everything. Okay, so let's do it this way. Let's just imagine we have a list. Okay, f a loop loop equals. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it differently. Okay, uh, okay, let's let's just write the loop input equals where mod input equals um, map 2020 minus over the input. Okay, so solution takes in the input. Okay, so uh, the modified input is going to be map 2020 over. Uh, Solution takes in a list of ints and um, returns a maybe int. Okay, uh, so set input equals uh, from list uh, input. Okay, and then here it doesn't want to map it. Oh yeah, uh, what, uh, import data that set, set, import qualified data put set as set. Uh, so here this will be set dot member and this is set from list. Okay, and then we map 2020 over the input. And that's that's the one we're gonna do set dot from list on. Actually, uh, and then we do uh, so loop nothing equals nothing. Loop uh, looking looking at the first element, we say a case a case uh, f mod input x of just a gs sol we return that just sol otherwise we do loop if it's not a solution we just do loop x s okay a uh, uh, wow, I can buy followers. I don't need to buy followers. Um, okay, so solution and then our our solution is just to loop over the input. This is just going to exit tightly. I mean, there are functions in the library for this, but we don't actually need to do it that way, right? Okay, so and then we say main io main equals uh, print solution of the test input and let's just see if this compiles open up a terminal here um, and uh, gc main that's your juicy day one that it is it's gonna take a short time so my setup is uh, I have a VS code and then it's uh, so it's like actually running in a virtual machine um, like the VSL machine um, and then VS code just kind of hooks into that which is actually a pretty nice way to do development these days. So like I have Windows, I have like all the email stuff, um, I have all the 
graphics rendering stuff. You know, I have Chrome on Windows, which is just, uh, you know, it's, I don't know, things work, but I can still use my Linux development tools, which is like, mm. best of both worlds. Okay, let's run it. Day one, just 514579, which is the answer to the problem. Um, okay, seems to work. Um, so now we need to do some reading of files. So let's write that function. Um, from file uh, is, is going to take in file name and it's going to return the stuff in integer. So from file equals read file. This is actually file path. File path read file. Okay, so we read file. I don't quite remember what read file does. Let's just run JCI. Say type read file. So read file just gives us a string. Okay, so we just uh, we read the file, which will give us a string. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do this in a one liner. Okay, doesn't count in Haskell if it's not a one liner, right? Okay, uh, so the read file will give us a string. So we're going to fmap a big function. So unlines first. No, lines. So this is gonna have a bunch of lines with each each number in it. So we will get the lines. Then we will map uh, read at int over whatever sort of the lines. And now this, yeah, we need type applications because we don't want to. Do we even need that? I don't think we need that. Uh, I think I think we have enough type information already. Okay, so yes. Um, wait, what is it saying now? Yeah. Okay. So it's complaining that. Yeah. So expected type. Yeah. From file uh, F. Um, hmm, how do I do this again? So, because like if I write just F here and then I write do dollar F, this should work, right? So lines goes from string to list, then this go go from string to any, and then this. F maps it over, and now it's complaining that um, kid match type. Okay, let's not do it in one liner. I'm sorry, guys. So, uh, where? where in? Let's uh, let's let's cheat a bit. Let's do it in non one liner, and then we merge it all into a one liner. Where I equals read. Okay, so. Okay, a uh, s so do s is going to be oh yeah okay okay that's what's happening. I didn't mark this as I O. Sorry y'all. Now it's a problem one liner. Okay, um, so now if we do print solution test input, so we read the file. Um, and then, so what we're going to do is we're going to do from file input. And we're going to pipe that into a printout solution. Let's uh, let's try it out before we actually download the thing. Uh, download the, okay, vim 
Oh shit, I should probably open it here, right? New file, input. Uh, and then we paste the numbers we got originally. And then we compile and we run and it just works. Um, all right, now let's download the input. Uh, so here, get your puzzle input, copy link address. What's your favorite way of downloading files from the internet? Um, you can, I usually use curl SSL and then, you know, the name of the file. And then I say, O oh, and where I want it to go. Oh, puzzle. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I need to actually, yeah, they're using cookies. Anyway, let's just do this for that. Okay. 299, 299. Let's see if it works. Work for our tests, right? All right. That's our right answer. All right, we got part one. Move, move. It's all about getting that part one right. So, we done the expenses. Now, what's the part two? Okay, a, the elves in accounting are thankful. One of them even offers you a starfish coin. They had left from a past vacation. They offer you the second one if you kind of find three numbers in your expense report that meet the same criteria. Okay, yeah, this is like here we're being punished um, with um, we like optimize it too much. We use the math to kind of simplify it. So now we actually need to say, I think we have to compute the sums. We have to compute pairwise sums of all the numbers and then we have to figure it out. So Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. I think let let's let's do the math a bit. Part one. Okay. So what's the part two? Then we have x plus y plus z equals twenty twenty. And then uh, and then uh, and y times is going to be 2020. Okay, um, let's just rewrite this. Hmm. I'm just wondering if there's like a shortcut here that we could use to just do it in one go instead of having to transform the set into like Airwise combinations. Huh. Um, okay, let's see. I mean, we can also just do the combinations, right? This is task one. It's gonna be a premature optimization if we try to do it anyway. Different line, like it's not gonna take that long, okay? So, uh, the way you do combinations in Haskell is I think like there's like a cool there's a cool trick so you can do like one uh, two three uh, I mean yeah okay import I think I mean I think there's just like a for literal function that does this uh combi com no Uh, what was it? Was it like one, two, three, and then like I think we monadically inject it into itself? Uh, hold on.
<laughs> right, so so T A. So this is the monad. We're gonna have list monads. Right. Um, okay, let's just Google it. I don't remember this trick. Um, there's like a, uh, it's like a, cause there's like a, Let's just let's just make it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it right away. So um, combinations. I mean, I, it feels like cheating if we don't do it. If we do it some other way, um, so it's gonna be int int, right? But we, we just want the multi the, the sums. Okay, so then we go. Combinations. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do combinations prime, where combinations prime a uh, left and left and so far equals um, um, this equals. So we're gonna do like this. So if we have, if this is empty, we do, which is return so far. Combination. Let's call it, let's call it sums. And we have access. You need to put here, and then we need to. Oops. We need to put here. Uh, let me. Okay, let me just say. Let me, no, let's just do it with a map, right? So, uh, map. What we're gonna do here okay so let's let's write it in the terminal okay so we have this one left l equal one two three right so if we map um map a star so we do oops map a x a map X star a so this will return us a list of functions, right? Um so yeah, I mean this is like this will return a list of functions, right? So this is like it's gonna be, you know. This is where like we, we could use some applicative magic to do it, right? Um, but it's gonna be a hassle. So we do map. Oops, I keep pushing enter when I'm, yeah, I, I got a new keyboard. So it's filling up a bit. Map star X x star uh, um, and then we're just gonna join them okay and now okay yeah this is from control monad Okay, and now let's say sums test input.
Oh, now I'm creating all of them, right? That's why I wanted to do the... That's why I wanted to do it differently. So that's why I want to loop. Um, so can't do this. Um, um, sun was bright. Sunless prime of empty equals empty sums sums x axis equals um math lambda x no we're gonna do lambda y here x times so we're gonna have y we're gonna have X comma Y comma uh, X times Y uh, like this. Uh, this is root. Okay, and then we calculate this. Plus plus sums Oh no Okay, yeah. That's exactly this. Um Yeah. So what is some sum sums? Sums prime takes in a list of things and returns a list of, list of things. That will be joint. So this map here, oh yeah, no, listen. It returns like int, comma, int, comma, int. That's why it's wrong. Uh, Okay, so what is our test input again? Uh, one, okay, so we have 1721 combined with all of them, 1456, and then we have the the rest, right? So now we've gotten all the combinations. That's cool. Okay, um, so, right. Okay, um, Okay, now, but this shouldn't be the sum, it should be the, the plus here, right? Okay, and then... Yeah, so here we have all the sums. And now we want... Because um, we want... X plus Y equals 2020... Uh, X plus Y plus Z equals 2020, right? Oops. Um, X plus Y plus Z should be 2020. So what does it say here? 9793666675. I think this is still doing the, still doing the. Yeah. Okay. So here we have yeah 9791345, right? Three to six, and then it's saying six seven five. Okay, so um, so we take these pairs. Let's actually let's actually flip them around, right? Because uh, we don't actually need x and y. So we have x plus y, and then we have x times y, like this. Um, and then we will put that into an int map. So this will be a list of pairs. 
x plus y and x plus uh, so what? It's way too many parentheses here. Um, this will be an int map. Um, let's import that. Import data dot int map. Int map. So an int map is just a uh, is just a map specialized to integers, right? Because they are so common. Um, okay, and then we import the int map, and here it's complaining that. Oh yeah, okay. Oof, what? So some normal. Wasn't doing on the whole. Oh shit. Okay, I think I was doing it wrong. Um, yeah, okay, but now this should work. Okay, and then. So this will return a list of integers. So this will be I am dot from list. Okay, so now let's see. See six five five six six five nine six zero. So okay, so here you're or saying here thirteen forty five. Okay, so now we're going to find a the solution of the input is going to be uh, where I am equals um, sums of uh, the input and then we're going to look up in the in path so we are looking for a function so here I'm going to show you some of my research actually uh, um, and divide. So, uh, so this is solution two. Solution two takes in a list of integers and returns a maybe um, int. And then we want to apply something to the int map we just made. And this we're gonna use typed holes, which I so I, I added um, suggestions to typed holes. So if you do here, you do control period. Oh, there's no code actions available. Uh, let me see. Because uh, this will be an int map. And... Uh, okay, so for... So it's essentially... Okay, so we are going to say here... Uh, search. Empty equals nothing search x axis equals uh, so if we, we didn't find anything that's just bad but if we have something we will say uh, okay something and then 2020 minus x and then I am okay and then it will suggest to us find a hole um, so it doesn't it doesn't realize that this is an int so it will so let's say this is an int to um, okay we are we are saying here so it, we're we're looking for something that takes an int and a, a map of ints and returns as maybe int and it will say valid whole fits look up which is exactly what we want so case look up this of just uh, res is uh, just and then we do x times res otherwise we search the rest so let's uh, load day one dot hs again okay um expected type uh, okay, so this is I am. I am is sums of input. Uh, what? Oh yeah, this would be I am dot lookup. Yeah. 
Why did it do that? Huh. So, because this one suggested... Uh, what? Sorry, I'm finding a bug in my own compiler code. Uh, valid hole fits. Okay, it seems to be the scope is wrong. Uh, okay, I think it's because the the module. So we've done it correctly here. I don't know. This should not be happening. Note. Check scope of lookup. Um, what if we? Yeah, this is weird. Because it does suggest it, right? No, okay, here it says I am dot lookup. It's just okay, I think this is a GHC IDE issue. Or to do oops. Oh my god. I need to tell him about this. Anyway. Um I am dot lookup. So we compile it and run it. Now oh, this will run solution two. So let's just solve number one. Um, uh, actually, let's uh, let's do it like this and then load it, and we let's run solution two on um, our testing group. Two four one eight six one nine five zero. Two four one eight six one nine five zero. It's all about the Christmas music. Um. Okay. So we solve number one from file input into print dot solution two. Let's run it. Two eight seven seven three zero one six. Put it in here. All right, we completed day one. All right, so that's the end of the show today. Um, I assume these things will get harder as time goes by. Um, let me see here. Get status. Get add. Day one, just and CD. Get add. Let's just add the input as well. Push it, and let's see here. Um, yeah, so. You can find my uh, solution right here. You want to check it out yourself? Um, let's. So we have a bit more time. Uh, so I allocated like an hour for this. So, so the thinking here is, yeah, it's it's just classic programming. You know, it's lists. You put it into lists. You put it into maps. And you look up in maps, right? So, we were we had a good time here in solution one because then we just we, we could just use a set because we only needed to find the other element and then we could calculate from that what it should be but here we actually needed to we needed to find two elements right um, and so instead of like doing an n squared algorithm or like n and and cubed algorithm or you multiply like you, you take one you try adding it to every other number and then multiplying you know we just we took every number we we added them together and we multiplied them together put it in a map and uh, and then we 
Yeah, I was just doing it. So, this is like a Reddit, I think, gaming. There's probably a better solution to this, but this is like a... That's how I would think of it, right? And you can see it's all functional. But, um... It doesn't look... You know, it's not too bad, right? It's just... You just follow how... What do you think about it, right? We found a bug at GHC IDE. I will... Link them this Twitch. <laughs> I can just show them right away. Um... How it how it doesn't work and uh, yeah so any questions I'll give you two or three minutes just write any ch questions in chat um, or you know just send me a message on Twitter or Facebook or something if you want if you want, if it's something you don't understand here, but this is, it's a first challenge, you know, it's not going to be, it's not going to be so much, um, not so much work actually, but, um, but yeah, I hope, I hope this is clear. And then, um, I, so I really liked last year's Advent of Code, I think last year or the, the year before that, where you had to write this machine i think it was last year you had to like program your own virtual machine and you had to like compile assembly instructions and then a lot of the tasks were like you know make this work um in the like write a program in the machine you built a model of um, and that was and that was a lot of fun but that was like so the, the problems usually with these things is that they're very unfunctional you know it's not so much you know hey parse this or do this in parallel or like here's a list like structure you can map over so we usually end up you know writing these kinds of tight loops um to to do things right and this is just a loop in a functional loop right you you do something and then you uh you uh you keep you kind of do a, a function call at the end and then like it's just when because the tail because tail call optimization just will turn into a loop behind the scenes and it just i mean it runs super fast right i mean i don't know like seven milliseconds you could probably go faster right but you shouldn't you don't need to optimize any further all right, thanks y'all for tuning in. Um, it will be available on Twitch. And uh, hope you to see you tomorrow at the same time um, where I will do part two or day two of the Advent of Code. All right, enjoy. <laughs>